Hi guys, welcome to another awesome episode of Ninja Eugene. Today we're going to be talking about the video, Top 5 Medieval Myths. So these four guys think they know something about swords and ninjas. Well I'm here to school them. Nobody knows more about swords and ninjas than Ninja Eugene! So to start off with, let's check the guys out first. Really get to grips with their credentials. First up we have Antony Cummins. And I, myself, little old Anthony Cummins, I'm going to take you through the ninja and everything wrong with that. This chump actually thinks you can learn a thing or two about ninja by doing research. Has this guy even seen Naruto? Okay, great, so you've written a bunch of books. But can you even complete Ninja Gaiden Sigma? I'm Thomas from Medieval Review, and I'm going to talk about some common myths of European medieval armor. Thomas, you seem like a nice man. I'm guessing the others forced you to be in their video in order to convince people of their lies. If you look closely, you can actually see the terror in his eyes. Hello everyone, this is the Metatron speaking. Today we're going to talk about the Samurai. Metatron! Now this is a YouTuber I've been meaning to talk about for a while. This guy will just not leave me alone. This guy is constantly in the comments section of my videos spamming me, telling me he loves me, telling me he's desperate to do a collab video. Honestly, I'm thinking of involving the police. If that isn't enough, he totally copies the style of my content. Given with a little bit more success than I've had. But any day now, I'm expecting a major boost in subs. I'm Chad Brooks from the YouTube channel Shadowversity. Wait a second. I've seen this guy. I'd recognize that English accent anywhere. This is the guy that made those videos about the katana. Not once in five videos did he state once that the katana was the most perfect weapon ever designed by man. Not once in five whole videos. Not once. And I'll be addressing the five most common ways on how to tie your shoelaces with your teeth. Now I watched this video on each of the channels it was posted to. And after watching it four times in its entirety, I can safely say that this segment is not included. And you want to know why it wasn't included? I'll tell you why it wasn't included. Because there are only two ways to tie your shoelaces with your teeth. So we essentially have two possible methods when tying shoelaces with our teeth. One is the jewel string method. Where you tie it in a knot with two, with two pieces. The only other method you can use when attempting to tie your shoelaces with your teeth is the single tooth and tongue method. See Shadow Varsity? Who looks like an idiot now? My area of expertise, as you all know, is ninjutsu, the katana, and attack on titan. Sorry Shad and Thomas, I've got nothing to say to you. Poor, poor sweet Thomas. Ninjutsu is not hand-to-hand -hand combat. Many people believe that the art of the ninja, ninjutsu, is hand-to-hand -hand combat. This does not appear anywhere in any historical text. Obviously what he says here is false. Of course ninjutsu was used hand to hand, but why simply tell you when I can show you? Of course, when we think about the samurai, the first weapon that comes to mind is a katana. And mind you, this is not a katana. This beast here is an odachi, but it still helps us out imagine what we're talking about. This is ridiculous! You can clearly see in his other videos that Metatron is little over four feet tall. Thus, if you do the math, you can clearly see this is just a regular sized katana. In the future, I suggest you check the specs before you go ordering swords offline. And perhaps consider holding a wakazashi in your future katana videos. Anyway guys, that's all I've got to say about this matter. Honestly, I couldn't watch any more of the video. It, it made me sick. It made me physically sick. 
I'm gonna go have some ramen. Please subscribe to my channel for all my future content. Honestly, I don't know where these guys get off. You've got an Italian, an English guy, an Australian, and an American. They pretend they know about Japanese culture. They do not know more about Japanese culture than I do. My mother's mother's father's mother's 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 mother was Japanese. Okay? So, you can't really beat that. Okay? I'm more in touch with my Japanese roots than these guys. They're just a bunch of weeaboos. <laughs>